Have you heard of the junk food challenge? Maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but it's not too late to hop on board with the daytime crew. We have two peeps right here. They're cooking some great recipes. They're gonna share how the junk food challenge is going so far. We're gonna find out if they're hungry and uh, let you know how you can join them in their quest. And we're also gonna talk sports with Paul Greco. He's gonna talk uh, Texas A&M football and the Texas Longhorns. So we'll do all of that today on Daytime at 9 and it all starts right now. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the junk food challenge. You're day 11 or are we on day 12? This is day 11. 11. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Are you hungry like the wolf? <laughs> no, I'm really energized actually. Like I have too much energy I have found. Like after work, after the gym, before this, I was ready for a nap like an hour at yeah. least. And now I'm just I'm ready to go. I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's work out twice stuff. a day. Yeah, it's twice great. Twice a day. Oh, good. Okay, so it's I don't work for out you. twice a day. No, but I you could. could. I have the energy too. You feel like it. Try. I feel great. How you feeling? Well, day one, I started off 195 pounds. You know, getting up there. Day 10, day 11, uh -huh. 189. <gasps> so Woo! That's not bad. That's good not for bad. you. And you were saying your pants were fitting loose. My, you these are these are my pants on the ground pants right now. <laughs> He's got General to keep Larry them up. Platt. Keep his britches up. He's having trouble That's keeping them right. up. Okay, so you're doing well in the junk food challenge. The whole point of the junk food challenge is not to eat junk food, not right. to eat fast food. Right. So you are going to share some of your recipes with us today. We are. Things that are helping you stay on track. Travis, I believe well, we're going to start. And He's food, first. food is definitely we're one of the We're saving the best for last. Yeah. Absolutely. Like we always do. <laughs> food is always the hardest thing for me because, uh, like Barney Stinson, who wants every single night to be the most epic night of his entire life. Well, if every night is the best night of your life, no night is the best night of your For life. For people who don't know who Barney is. Everybody knows the how Simpsons. I met your mother. How I met your mother, oh, right? I Barney that. from the Simpsons. That's how I am with food. I want every meal to be the best meal that I've ever had. But if you do that, you know, you don't appreciate the ones that are really good. Oh, so you have okay. to kind of tone it down. So what are you making So we have here? some alternatives here. This was called... For those who who like the uh, jalapeno poppers, maybe at the uh, at the football games, we yeah, have yeah, those are popular, but very fattening. Travis. Very fattenings, and you can take you know ten or fourteen down in in just a couple of minutes. And about twelve thousand calories. Probably. Absolutely. So what we have here are bison stuffed jalapeno poppers using Greek yogurt, which mm. I hate, but yeah. it's delicious. Okay. Feta cheese and bison instead of bacon. Now, how do you go about? making the creation what you've stuck well, all you there. have to do is uh, you put your bison on it doesn't take very long you put a saute a little onion and garlic once you're done you put it all together in a bowl uh -huh. with uh, a half cup of two percent Greek yogurt uh -huh. a fourth cup of feta cheese which we have okay. right here and then an eighth cup of green onion you stir it all together you mix it you have something that looks like this Ooh. all right then you have to hollow out. You get the biggest jalapenos you can yeah. find. You hollow them out just like that. Be careful. Don't get an itch in your eye once you're doing this because you're going to, and it's going to hurt. It's going to it ruin your day. It will end badly. Once you have everything mixed together, put your oven on 425. You put it together, like right inside the little divots that you make. He said divots. 20, 25 minutes, and it's delicious. I, I tasted one this morning. Mm -hmm. Absolutely delicious. And you can't taste the um, the feta. I am not a fan of feta cheese. I couldn't right. taste it. You don't like feta. I don't like Neither Greek yogurt, but it's amazing. It's a beautiful combination. You can have five, which is actually 10 because you cut them in half. You can yeah. have five. It's only 380 calories, 10 grams of fat, not all saturated, right. and like 50 grams of protein. And really wow. quickly, Trav, just tell our viewers why bison is a good choice. How much leaner of a meat it is compared it's to beef? much leaner than beef. It's even leaner than chicken if you get the lean bison. Uh, it's leaner than ground turkey. Mm -hmm. uh, it has more protein. You can overcook it, so you have to be careful about right. that. But otherwise, it tastes amazing. It's not gamey at it's all. It's not gamey, but just like with anything else, like with onion or garlic or any kind of meat or scallops, mm -hmm. don't go on a date after you're cooking yeah, they in the kitchen. Don't wear the same clothes because <laughs> it kind of seeps in. But it's otherwise, I found this recipe on fitmancook.com and they have amazing alternatives to everyday foods. Because you're a fit man who cooks. Thank you, Travis. Great recipe and we're going to post it at boxsanantonio.com. And Caitlin, yes. you are making a version of one of my absolute favorite things to order at the restaurant. Oh yeah, this is at a lot of restaurants. It's called the barbecue chicken chopped salad. Something to Love that it. effect. So simple, you can make it yourself, a few things at home. So you just get, this is called the summer blend. Ooh. It's iceberg lettuce, carrots, and red cabbage, as you can see. To this, we are going to add black beans. Now how okay. much, because I would probably put, probably more than I should. You know me, I like to just eyeball things and kind of, yeah. you know, if I like, I like a lot of black beans and corn though. Me too. So corn, 
and these are both just from a can. Mm -hmm. You want to drain them first. Black beans you want to put in one of the little, I think they're called colanders, yeah. and rinse them a little like bit. Like you would do with pasta, sort of. Right. Uh, I have cut tomato right here, chopped tomato. Now you could, you tomato. could eat your body weight in tomatoes. That'd yeah, be just fine. and see, all this stuff is good for you, so it doesn't, it won't hurt. And my favorite part, Ugh, the avocado. Avocado. That gives it a good flavor. I don't have it, but in, at some restaurants they put hikama. Oh yeah, it, that I've has that a good either. flavor. Cheese too. I'm not the biggest cheese fan, so we won't be putting cheese. Okay. And then the best part, this is grilled chicken, Papa John barbecue chicken over the weekend, and I. This is day three of That's using it dad, for lunch. That's her dad, Papa John, yes. not the pizza guy. Yes, so not the pizza Papa guy. John. But it's it's the barbecue chicken, so I just I cut it up and put barbecue sauce on it just a little bit, and then that is your your protein Delicious. for it. So that's that, and then if you want to, you can add a little bit of ranch dressing. Hopefully, she's adding ranch. While you do that, though, I want to, again, let our viewers know, we are going to post both of these recipes on FoxSanAntonio.com. We also want them to follow both of you on Facebook yes. because you're constantly putting recipes on there and, and, and keeping everyone up to date with the challenge. I'm posting. That looks wonderful. That's it. Ta-da! I'll trade you. Thanks, guys. Yeah, he's doing more work. <laughs> good job. Good job. Thank day you. 12 Thank or you. day 11 yes. down. On to day 12.